Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Shazam. This is one of those games that's been in development for about as long as my channel has existed. Actually, at a panic moment, I think it was in like 2014, because uh, I think I missed the Kickstarter for this game, and I was—I I think at the time I was—I was poor or whatever, and I was just like, yeah. You know, I'll just wait until it comes out. And then it, like, sort of came out for people, but not really. And I was just like, oh, no, you know, did I did I miss my window? I didn't I didn't miss my window. <laughs> uh, so we're finally here. Anyway, profile select. This one. Name entry. Um, let's see if anybody gets the reference. Okay, Nodwick. Seed. The seed changes how the world is created. Share with friends to play the same world. Difficulty, normal, hard, easy. Let's do normal. What can I change the seed to? Uh, delete. Let's see if I can do the most universal seed possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if there's going to be an Easter egg for this one, but uh, there we go. All right, Nodwick, let's see if you can do this. Nodwick. Nodwick, wake up. I thought I'd find you up here. Did you fall asleep watching the knights ride off into their mission? Off on their mission? Don't worry, you're the brightest recruit this outpost has seen in some time. Soon you'll be a full-fledged Gildean knight, and I'll still be here, running errands for the commander. Which reminds me, he sent me to find you. Your orders are to report to Commander Sil uh, Silkser's office at once. You better hurry. He even seemed... Uh, he seemed even more impatient than usual. Well, visually it looks nice. Keep out. Oh, that's... It's kind of sluggish. I oh, that's a map. Alright, sure, why not? I assume this is a save shrine? Yeah. Kneel in the light of the Watchers, and your deeds shall be recorded in the Tome of Light. Their eyes will always find those who shine brightly. They remember our deeds in this life, and offer us a place by their side in the next. Let the light of the Watcher illuminate your path, and they shall aid you in your time of need. Aphizil... Aphizil the Younger? I guess? Okay. Well... Oh, interesting. So it does have RPG stats. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, that should be just a little bit quieter. Perfect. This reminds you of Castlevania. Well, it is a Metroidvania. Metroidvania platformer, RPG elements. Let's talk to this guy. I had a lot of action this morning, but the view sure is beautiful. It really is. This is this is really nice looking. Uh, these are some nice looking pixels. I uh, I know people like to kind of hate on pixel art as a style saying that it's like, it gets kind of generic after a while, but I love it. Gildea Oath. By the light of the Watchers, I hereby pledge my sword to the land of Gildea. I will illuminate the places where darkness dwells, and my shield shall always be ready to defend those who are defenseless. I shall seek to be brave, just, and... Oh, loyal for the glory of Gildea. Alright, I can't train in the yard with you today. Yendrick says I need to stay in bed until I get better. Stop back and tell me if anything interesting happens, okay? I've never understood Blank the Younger. I guess it kind of works. General Cyrus Tefali. He was old as shit by the time he died. Everyone's out chasing down bandits, and I'm stuck here cleaning. That's the last time I throw dice in the barracks. Man, it looks like we've got one hell of an arm as we walk around. Like, the the swooshy of it. <laughs> I feel like I should just be slugging people. If you ask me, the commander's horse eats better than we do. You know the rules, recruit. No one leaves this outpost without the commander's approval. Would it help if I knew where the commander's <laughs> quarters were? There you are. Go right in. The commander is waiting. Ah, jeez, recruit. I have a mission for you. There's a small mining town about three days' journey to the west called Carthus. 
This morning, I received an urgent letter from the town's mayor. He reports that the miners were attacked by a wild beast while working deep in the mines. The last time this happened, it was only an injured wolf that had found its way down there. Regardless, they refuse to go back to work until it's been taken care of. I know this sounds like a trivial matter, but we depend on Karthus for supplies and raw materials. As you know, I sent the knights on a mission yesterday, which leaves me in a bit me a bit short-handed. I need you to go to Karthus and do whatever it takes to get those mines up and running again. I think you're ready to become a Gildean knight, but you must prove yourself first. Do you understand your orders? Yes. Good. Head to the armory and get properly equipped before you set off for Karthus. Godspeed, recruit. Wow, your first mission. I had a feeling today was going to be your lucky day. Ah, be careful on the road to Karthus. The snowstorms are treacherous this time of year. We. It looks nice, feels nice, music's not bad. I, <laughs> I'm just imagining we walk over to these books and just we rip out a page and it's like, my! And the, <laughs> the librarian over there is like, no! It's a price. It took me months to transcribe that book. And the binding is ancient. No. Anyway, in the year 398, the tyranny of Lenhine's despotic King T Trell forced many to choose between their lives and their values. The people were lost and confused in the wake of the capital's destruction, but General Cyrus Tefali rose to guide them. He made it his mission to secure the land so that a council of leaders could establish Gildea, a kingdom without a king. This council was created to ensure that power would never be concentrated in the hands of one person. Oh, never again be concentrated in the hands of one person. Soon after Gildea was formed, the council's first act was to formally create the Knights of Gildea, led none other by, uh, by none other than Tifali himself. His font is messing with me. Have you come seeking a blessing to aid you on your journey? May the light of the watchers guide you. But did you think the blessing did anything? You would be wrong. Mostly just for people that don't believe in themselves. I don't believe in you. It's mostly useless blessing. Anyway, 114th of Luminoth, 17, uh, 17, 772. Two recruits caught gambling, both sentenced to 10 days of extreme duties. 115th of Luminoth, 772. We received a report of bandits attacking traders on the road to Delkath. The commander has dispatched the knights to investigate. gonna kind of wander around for a little while longer I'm assuming I can just leave okay so we do have a we do have a punch we have a dash we have punch alt punch interesting that the dash is only uh, backwards I guess it works okay well I wanted to check one other section before we leave because I don't think I don't think there's anything left here for me yeah there's this woman so the commander is sending you on your first mission. Is that a woman? I'm assuming so. You'll be needing a weapon then. Take a sword off the rack. Yoink. Make sure to equip your sword before you set off. Just remember your training and you'll do just fine. Alright. Oh, right. We actually have to equip said sword. How? Equipment. And short sword. Interesting. Oh, that... I really like the animation in this game. And the art. Like, it, it looks real nice. I'm trying to think of other, other like, pixel arty games. Children of Morta, by far. Looks like you're all set. Make sure you have everything you need. Once you go through this gate, there's no turning back. Oh, I think I got everything. A backdash is a lot like Castlevania. Good luck. You're going to need it. I've never actually played any mainline Castlevania games. I played, uh... Oh, shoot. The the 3D action RPG ones. But they weren't very good. They were okay. <laughs> just arrives in town. <sighs> I'm here. I just I sprinted the whole way. Weeks long run. It's fine. I got calves of steel. That's not ominous in the slightest. Karthus. EST 672. 
Horse. Strikes me that there is actually nothing left here. Is there anybody? There's got to be somebody in... Nope, everybody is dead. Well, we got a treasure chest up here. Okay, good. I can... I can't get this door open. Dear Bastion, I must confess, I believe you may have something interesting to say for once. The tribe you descended, described in your last letter seems to have some basis in reality. Huh. The tribe, okay. Which is more than I can say about your crackpot theories about King Trell. I'm glad you have put aside these childish fantasies about magical forces driving the king mad. You should focus your efforts on this ancient civilization. It may be your final chance to prove yourself. Sincerely, G.P. Miles, Dean of Anthropology, Gildean Academy of Science. Yeah, there's a chest behind one of those doors, but it looks like... I wonder if this is one of those games where you have to rescue everybody uh, from town before you can do anything else. Because, yeah, I can't, I can't open doors. Carthus Mines. Employees only. All others are prohibited. Oh, there's a fire on in this one. Hey, there's a person. Let's celebrate. Carthus' 100th, 100th anniversary is nearly upon us. On the 121st day of Luminoth, 17, 1772, or 772, sorry. I'm so used to, I'm a 90s kid, so 19, anyway. We'll gather to celebrate this historic day. The town was founded by J.Q. Carthus I. All townsfolk and visitors are invited to join. Please bring a dish to share and we'll see you there. J.Q. Carthus III, Mayor of Carthus. Wanted, Felix Farron and Drake Stryker. The notorious duo are wanted by the Kingdom of Gildea to stand trial for crimes of thievery and piracy. They're last seen heading east towards the Ladorian Mountains. Beware, both are considered armed and dangerous. If you see either individual, please contact the authorities immediately. Missing persons. Anyone with information regarding the whereabouts of the following people should contact the mayor immediately. Narina, Dom, Ash, Princess, Ethel, Wynne, Rupert, Basden, Jinx, Cade, Duncan, Grant. So the whole town's gone missing, except for this guy. Ah, thank the Watchers, the Gildan Knights! Oh, they're only recruits. Well, I reckon I should just be thankful I'm not alone anymore. My family's been running Carthus for generations, but it's begun to unravel under my watch. Turns out human sacrifice is kind of depopulates the town. I need you to get on that. The mines have become less and less productive in spite of our best efforts. In the last ditch effort to keep Carthus alive, my crew began blasting in search of a new vein of ore. Some sort of beast emerged from one of the new passages and the miners fled to the surface. I wrote to your outpost for help. But then, a few days later, things got much worse. In the dead of night, a gang of hideous creatures came up from the mines and ransacked the town. When the morning came, I finally worked up the courage to investigate and found the whole town was empty. Please, you must find the missing townsfolk and help restore Carthus. Take this key and open the gate to the mines. And please remember to report back here if you find anyone. I'm gonna go back to dreaming about more human sacrifices. Oh, how I love them. Hello? What's over here? Wait, what? Town loops. Oh, that's worrying. Okay, well, we might as well save again, just in case. I don't know if uh, dying resets you back to your, your last save point. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so now we're in the actual game. Now, I have heard some complaints about this game. I'm going to try and ignore what I've heard and just kind of give my my base impressions. Yeah, so we're going to have to do something about that. I think this is kind of one of those situations where it's going to be much like uh, Owlboy uh, when it comes to like people's impressions of it. You know, a game that took, what, like six? Six years to make? Give or take? Uh, oh, okay. Don't stand in the gas. Gas is bad. Uh, you know, a, a game that takes so long to come out by the time it finally does, everybody's just like, meh. Okay, you feel protected. I don't know if it's for a number of hits or exactly how it works. Oh well. Okay, so I can't make that. I just have to not suck at jumping. 
Which, spoilers, kind of suck at jumping in these games. I'm not very good at um, pixel-perfect platforming. I can do it if I have to, uh, as evidenced by the uh, White Palace and Hollow Knight, but I don't like to. <laughs> I prefer really fun, fast, like, fluid platforming than, uh, out. Oh. Okay, so that wasn't, like, a lantern-y thing. Oh. Okay, so there is EXP, and I did get money from baking that lantern. So I guess I'm just going to be on a, uh, campaign of mild vandalism. Whoever comes back in here is going to, well, there's going to be a happy lamp salesman, uh, nearby. Okay, so Professor Bastin, entry number one. My search for King Trial may be, may be in vain, but luckily I've discovered evidence of an ancient civilization which thrived in these mountains at least a thousand years ago. I shall refer to them as the Lodori tribe. In reference to the Lodorian mountains, which they once lived, based on these paintings, they appear to have been a peaceful hunter-gatherer society. Their written language is primitive, but very similar to ancient Delca Delcathian script. Could these people be related to the early tribes of the East? I will need to find more examples if I'm to fully translate it. Okay, so there's six total. That's kind of neat. So there's there's kind of ambient storytelling based on... Um, there's ambient storytelling based on log entries. I kind of appreciate that. I don't know. The animes animate well, but they do kind of just feel like obstacles. I... What was I watching? I was watching uh, Jim Sterling's um, uh, Foxes and... Oh shoot, I don't even remember the uh, the name of it exactly. But he was talking about it being a platformer where the... Oh. Oh, they don't have an AI. They just walk. Okay. Uh, where he was talking about uh, enemies more or less just acting as obstacles to prevent you from uh, progressing quickly as opposed to uh, as opposed to actually like providing much of an ample challenge. Okay, so what does leveling up do? Inventory. So I can craft stuff. Journal, we know about that. Artifacts, nothing. Map, we know about that. So it looks like I haven't gained any necessary stats. Okay, 8767. Help me remi remember that. And why is there two sets? Maybe if you get, like, buffed or... Yeah, oh, foxes and forests. There we go. That the enemies were designed mostly to prevent you from progressing instead of actually, like, you know, attacking you or anything like that. And I think I've kind of talked about this before, but I never, like, really, really, like, thought about it in um, such terms. Uh, but that is actually, like... That is kind of like a old school style of like de de developing platformers. Okay, well there's something over there, but I can't get to that for a while. Um, you know, stuff like Mario, the enemies, at least initially, the enemies rarely ever actually attacked you. They just kind of were in your way. Thanks for helping me get out of that cage, my child. I'm Narina. I run the magic shop in town. I was tending to my horse Buttercup. When I was taken captive, I hope she's okay. She gets awful lonely when I'm gone. Stop by my shop and see if you're ever in need of my services. Yeah, so we'll see what happens when I level up. If we're lucky, uh, my stats slowly go up. Otherwise, it's just going to be an equipment-based system. Who knows? I don't. Um, but, you know, just the idea of... Enemies is an obstacle is an interesting, I guess, critique I, I'm going to probably hold on to for a while uh, when it comes to, like, game design. Ow. Ow! Little sucker hurts. Okay, well, we've got a save shrine right here, so it doesn't even matter. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, some of the enemies later on actually have, like, some proper AI programming. It'd be a bit of a shame if they all just kind of walk around with knives out. <laughs> oh well. I mean, it, it does make it a lot easier to just kind of, like, zip through and wreck things. Ow. Okay, that's my fault. Luckily, safe shrines are just, like, free healing, so... Works for me. Push the cart. Oh, you know what? Let's go push the cart. 
I didn't even think about that. At the same time, I guess there's kind of the alternate approach, which was like, uh... Oh shoot, what game was I playing recently? Unworthy. That, like, uh, kind of Metroidvania Souls-like. I really wanted to like that game, but it was just... It was brutal to the point of not being enjoyable on my end. The freaking spin-to-win Jesus uh, characters were awful. Just one-shotting me left and right. So I guess I can kind of appreciate when the enemies aren't uh, directly threatening. Yeah, you can push the cart. Sorry. Didn't even occur to me. My brain, my brain was in other, uh, was in other places. Did they? Yeah, they... Ah. Huh. They don't actually attack? I think the slimes have a proper AI, but the spear goblin just walks towards you. Ah. Huh. He does. Yes, okay, so the, the slime has has proper AI here. Okay, so we just leveled up. Uh, we are 8868, so that's... Uh, that's one to intelligence and luck, looks like. Okay, I wonder if the stats are randomized. Nope, that didn't work. Yeah, that's a long attack animation. Let's see. Well, I guess I'm not going to be doing any sword hopping. Do I go down? No, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get back up very easily. So let's let's stay here for a second. I guess I, as far as Metroidvanias go, oh, cool. They've got okay. Uh, as far as Metroidvanias go, I've been a little spoiled by uh, Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight and uh, Hollow Knight and like a couple other ones that are specifically like. You know, you can just smoothly flow past, like, most foes. Uh, and, like, dance around in combat. This one seems like it's going to be much more methodical. You know, kind of hit enemy when you have your openings. And then move on. Axiom Verge? Maybe Axiom Verge. Whoops. Axiom Verge was kind of awkward. It was fun, but it never really felt like uh, it had flow. It was mostly just the grim realization that it was easier for me to just uh, uh, face roll things instead half the time and cheese uh, cheese through boss fights. Let's uh, stick our head in here. Oh, did I get a different weapon? N I did. I actually didn't realize that was a club. Oh my god. <laughs> well then. Huh. Okay, so where does this lead? Oh, shortcut. Back to Karthus. Well, that works perfectly for me. Uh, let's get back up to town and see about magic. Uh, let's see. She's probably over here. Let's see, can't you use two weapons? Sort of. It looks like circle hand is for spells. And then you've also got equipment and accessories and whatnot. Let's see, okay, so... She's probably over by the horse. I don't know what that is. Maybe magic? Okay, talk. Ah, oh, hello, young one. My magic shop is now open again thanks to you. I have many spells for sale that can help you on your quest. However, I'm unable to enhance my spells at this time. I lost my book of incantations when I was carried off by those monsters. There was a time when I could recite every incantation in there by heart, but I'm afraid my memory is not what it used to be. Please let me know if you happen to come across it. Okay, so anyway, we can buy a silver ring, magic knife, turban, monk's robe. Okay, so she sells a little bit more than just basic uh, magic. just get down there and uh it's not it's no book of incantations or spells it's just like some like smutty romance novel <laughs> i'd be mildly fine with that okay i like the uh shortcut system already 
uh, the fact that we can just kind of traverse around. That'll be nice. Sell the sword. You know, that's a good point. Probably should actually do that. I'll hold on to it for now, though. Lobbin! Ho ho ho! Okay. That, uh... It's not bad. Me am Nodwick. Me am Ow! Who can play at this game? Is this a boss? I mean, it's an obstacle. Ow. Cave troll unlocked. What does that even mean? Ah, thank you for your assistance. I am Professor Bastion of the Gildean Academy of Science. I suppose you are wondering how I ended up in that cage. Funny story of that. I first arrived in Carthus nearly a year ago, searching for the remnants of King Trell's caravan. While staying in town, I learned of the ca cave paintings throughout these caverns. To my astonishment, the paintings were made by an undiscovered tribe that lived here nearly a thousand years ago. I named them the Lodori after these mountains and began to devote all my time to learning about them. They have a very interesting, they're a very interesting people, but their sudden disappearance is what captured my curiosity. My research was going swimmingly until one of those creatures snuck up on me while I was studying and knocked me out. Ah, next thing I remember was waking up in this cage with a splitting headache. I believe we have a common interest in finding out why people, both ancient and modern, keep disappearing here. The mo miners were the last bla were last blasting on the bottom floor, so we should head down there and begin our investigation. And by we, I mean you. Come now, together we can open the gates. Okay, to the lower levels in the mines. Bonk. Okay. I gotta admit, Bonk Club is pretty fun. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I like the enemy design. I just wish they actually, like, you know, kind of came at me and I... I had to, you know, kind of avoid, if that makes sense. Uh, let's see. We could go back here. Yeah, let's go back to Carthus. I've got a, I've got a hundred gold. Maybe I can buy stuff. Um, you know, just, I guess the more uh, complicated platforming co combat. I like fast, fast-ish. Smooth platformers. It can be slow as long as it's smooth. I guess is the proper word. I guess I should probably save. This would have been a fantastic game back on the SNES, though. Holy shit, it would have gone over so well. Okay, so we got a silver ring. Provides two int. Or magic knife. Spell for magical throwing knives. That's not a bad idea. A ranged attack right now would be handy. And I can throw like 30 of them. <laughs> okay, sure, why not? Yeah, let's let's just go uh let's just go nuts with knives for a little while. Uh let's see, what else do we immediately have in the area? Do I go back to the that area? Uh or I could go straight down. Let's uh let's go down to this quick. Let's see what's over here on the right. Maybe there's another town's person that you find like really early on. Or not. Now, just stand there for one moment while I lock the gate in place. Oh. That should do it. Now, follow me. Nope. See you, old man. Okay, I was wondering about that. So there is stuff over there, but we still have that one section that we haven't been to yet. So I'm going to go for that one. I want to play more RPG platformers. There was that Monster Sanctuary game that I played recently, which admittedly was mostly platformer with just, like, uh, turn-based battles. But, like, I enjoyed that. I'd like to see more games kind of follow in this game, this sort of style. Uh, admittedly, most people don't like platformers anymore. Like, I, I always find platformers to, t uh, to be the most 
not reviled, but uh, the internet seems to have very limited interest out. Uh, very limited interest in platformers as a whole anymore, which is a shame because some of them are pretty damn good. Let's see, just checking back with the mayor uh, get you anything after you rescue people? Interesting question. Oh, uh, we'll do it before we uh, progress. Ow, I forgot about the bats there. Luckily, luckily the bats aren't uh, anything now that I've got the club. Oh, that was a half platform. I should pay more attention. Okay, so this is where I wanted to drop down. Uh, it looks like I could probably come back. Let's figure this out quick. Knives! Drill Troll unlocked. Rightio. That's a nice treasure chest. Hello! We got another club! <laughs> Alright, and I can't crawl. Well, let's take a look at the club at the very least. Club or club? Well, I guess I know which I'm going to use. So, somebody's uh, talking about the YS games. Specker is talking about the YS games in, in chat. I've never actually heard of... Well, no, I've heard of YS before. But I've never actually looked into them. Are they any good? I, they're not platformers, though, are they? If I remember right, they were, uh, they were like, just basic JRPGs. Then again, I don't, I don't know. My experience with, uh, many games is, like, super limited. Uh, especially games that, like, kind of came before Steam. Okay, they are just JRPGs. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I used to, well, I wouldn't say I used to play a lot of games. Uh, I played a lot of the same games over and over again. Uh when I was younger. You know, uh, it's an easy example. Played a ton of uh, Space Station Silicon Valley. Actually got a completely unreleased series on that game. I should go back to it at some point. Or, go back. I should go edit it at some point. I don't actually remember if it was any good. It was like one of the last things I filmed with my brother. I'll probably put that up when I, when I move across the country. Probably just... <laughs> do like an old week, a whole week of just like, hey, here's all the content that I filmed once upon a time and, uh, you know, have just been hoarding for no good reason. Okay, it was a side scroller. Huh. They're action, R action RPG platformers, isometric camera, but YS was a three, was a side scroller. Huh. Yeah. No real exposure. I'm taking probably way too much damage to that thing, but we got a save point right here, so who cares? I don't know. I, action RPG platformers really appeal to me, and there there aren't a whole lot of them. Like, there's a number, but like half of them aren't very good. It's pronounced ease. Oh. Yeah, probably. I just know if, uh, if you say YS, people are gonna know what you're talking about. Whereas, if you say ease, most people that try and, like, Google it after the fact are like, what, are, what the hell are you talking about? I've actually had that, uh, I've had that experience several times where I'll be talking about a game, you know, on, that's on Steam or N64 or just anything. I'll be talking about a game kind of with the shorthand, uh, of, like, what it's, what it's, uh, actual name is and people get super confused because they can't google it and i'd never really thought of that as like a legitimate problem until recently uh let's see i guess really until until i started uh doing youtube and getting the comments of like water what are you talking about okay so magic dagger is pretty perfect for what i'm doing it only costs one to fire and i get to fire a hell of a lot of them What's the reason? Oh, right. I need some kind of jump tech to get over here. And yeah, pretty much every lamp has at least one dagger's worth of magic energy. I don't know what the unlock system is. I'm assuming it is... Oh, it's the bestiary. So you can tell... What they'll drop, what their HP is, how many kills I've gotten.
Okay, and the more you kill, the more you'll find out what they what they have as loot. That kind of makes sense. Okay, I've got a little bit more money. I'm probably not too interested in buying anything for a little bit, but I'm gonna take this kind of slow early on, especially because like I, I like I like thinly veiled grinding where I'm like where I actually do have some kind of objective. Oh, crap. Gap. There we go. Takes a little bit. Silver ring is int. We'll raise the damage on those daggers a little bit. What about the turban? It's 200. Monk's robes, axe. But that's magic throwing axes. Shuriken might be better. Some of these are get kind of pricey. Otherwise, I could just pick up the silver ring for now, because I don't see any other rings for a while. We'll just pick it up now so daggers do more damage. I mean, it's not like money is actually that big of a deal. Sell your second club. That's a good point. Though, uh, I actually can't. I think uh, we need the blacksmith or one of the other characters first. Oh, right. We're going to go talk to the mayor quick. Eh, was it? Yeah, good. Good, I'm glad Bazin's all right. I used to think of him as a nuisance, but he's grown on me. Eh, yeah, it's good to hear that Narina's back. She hasn't been in town very long, but she's one of us all the same. 